Good evening, everyone. And may I also adopt the protocol that was established and amended by the Honorable Minister. Welcome to St. Kitts for those of you who are visiting. Hope you have a good time while you're here and I wish you all a productive meeting. The poem that I'm going to do is called Another Child Cries. It is an original piece. I hope it jogs your mind. That is always my intention to make people think. In his native tongue, he screams for his mama. Sleep cannot cure the pain he feels. Lying in darkness with only glimmers of sunlight stealing through cracked walls and windows. Silence, interrupted sporadically by the sound of his own and his stomach's hunger cries. Moments pass him alone never knowing the touch of his mother's hands, never knowing the comfort of her hold, never knowing the tingle of her kiss, never knowing or having the familiarity of her scent. Poverty has ruled that he shall never even see love flowing from her eyes, and he cries, abandoned and left to die. Another child cries. Somewhere along the ocean's swell, a little girl wipes her hair from in front of her sleepy eyes. Good morning, princess, she hears from her nanny, because corporations and success are the focus of her mommy. So as the sun rose on her mother's way to work, the view of this angel's eyes is the face of this stranger whom she has had no choice but to direct her love. You see, her mother grew up poor and the, their family had very little to their name. So her mother was determined her daughter's life would never be the same. Chasing dreams and prestige, her aim was to break any glass ceiling, not knowing that she was gaining money at the price of her daughter's well-being. So this little girl sits all alone in her castle-styled home. Even with helpers, butlers, and material things surrounding her, all that this little girl ever wanted was time from her mother. And she cries. Rich, but emotionally poor. Another child cries. And too many children cry. Cry tears as their hearts break to see their mothers work singly in a job meant for two. Raising families, bearing burdens, and holding occupations that treat them as second-class citizens. All in the name of providing a life better than this. Whatever that this is. And too many children cry. Cry tears for mothers whose concerns lie deeper in their own styles and fashions rather than focusing their energies on their children's education. Too many children cry, begging for mothers to take a stand against that heartless coward, that nasty man who keeps harassing them even though she shouts at him, leave me alone, I am only 10. And too many children cry when their loudest wails for attention go unanswered. Hands clutch phones tighter than the hope held on, to, held on to in their hearts that one day he'll actually answer and say hello. Daddy, will you ever come home? Too many children cry and not enough people care. But Celebrations should be ongoing for people who constantly toil despite breaking hearts and backs in the name of children who they bore bread or happen to know are never even seen. When tears stream down the face of so many, we all have a responsibility to care for and comfort them, whether or not they came from our own bodies. Salute the people who have opened their homes and their hearts and made miracles, providing for children who no one wanted and cast out demons since apparently, as we say, nobody could go with them. Celebrate the people who realize that what most of these children today only need is love. 
and every now and then, a great big hug. As your hearts overflow, and you make concerted efforts to change the world through the children you know, may the blessings of God rain and soak you in goodness as your reward. May the blessings fall like the tears of too many children that cry do. Thank you. <laughs>